Good morning. This is Alice from Baldwin Falls Farm. This morning we're taking our pigs to the butcher. They're sweet girls. This is Blackie and that's Priscilla. Um, they're raised on pasture. Uh, they are raised organically, um, but we don't have an organic certification, so we call them butt naked. Um, they're about a year old. They take a lot longer to get to butcher weight. Um, then pigs raised on commercial feed and things like that. But the result is that their, their meat is really tender and dark and juicy. Um, they've been treated very well. We give them love. <laughs> they love belly rubs. Come here, girls. As you can see, they're quite at ease with us. <laughs> but hey, this is Blackie. They both gave us piglets. Oh, look, she's laying down for a belly rub. Uh, honey, I can't get in there with you. <laughs> but anyway, they both um, threw litters uh, back in September, and we're raising out the ones that we still have left. Um, but anyway, we take our pigs to a butcher. They're called Blaylock Meats in Northeast, in Raven Gap, Georgia. And um, the reason we use them is that they're just as passionate about animal welfare as we are. Um, they're humane, they're gentle. Um, our first experience was actually pretty bad where um, there was a lot of uh, pulling of ears and you know, we just, we had no idea how this butcher was gonna treat our animals. But anyway, we found somebody good. Long story short, that um, helps because that's what we believe in, but it also a happy pig is a, is a good tasting pig. Look at there. Hey, Priscilla. Your mommy's good girl. But anyway, um, it's, for those who are wondering, it is difficult to take them to the butcher because we've loved them and raised them and put a lot of hard work. But um, because we eat meat, we want to eat meat that is good for us, that has, um, you know, just uh, been treated well. We know where it comes from. It's not dirty, nasty. It's not eaten awful things. Um, and we're just really pleased with the result. Now, my youngest daughter is coming with us. And our first experience taking pigs to the butcher was so bad that it turned her into a vegetarian. So she slowly has been coming around. She'll eat meat as long as it hasn't been tortured or gross in her own, in her words. Um, so she's decided she's, we started homeschooling her and she decided that she wanted to go with us on this trip because she knows that this butcher is gentle and it's not going to be an awful experience. So it brings her a little closer to where her food comes from. And, um, you know, so anyway, yep, these gals, they were good mamas. Um, they turned over the land for us, as you can see back there well you can see the barley starting to grow back in but we did um we let them turn over everything because it was just full of hedge and blackberry and all kind of stuff they did a fantastic job of doing that they fertilized the land and now they're going to nourish our body and we appreciate their sacrifice so um i'll let you guys know how it turns out have a great day